Hi and great it's you watching our video about FireRender for GPU. In this video I will talk about the physical camera in FireRender for GPU and how you can benefit from our great active shade implementation of FireRender for GPU. The cool thing here is our implementation is the actual renderer so there is no difference between active shade or rendering. So for that, let me just uh, show you the scene we have here. So that's a pretty old uh, classroom scene. Everyone should know that. We use that a couple of times to test our rendering GI. And I'm going to use it uh, right now here in this uh, situation to show you how easy it is to set up the physical camera for interior scenes. So let me just activate right now um, the active shade. I'll activate uh, Active Shade here and you will see in just a few seconds uh, rendering including global illumination, reflections, refractions, everything going on here. So as you can see right now it's all a little bit uh, dark and now we are going to adjust the lighting situation. For that we are using our physical camera in file render. And the cool thing right now is I'll just turn on the physical camera and you can see in real time how it affects the illumination in the scene. So we can go here and just say, okay, I want to adjust the uh, f-stop and you get immediate feedback in here. So you can actually play with the spinner and adjust your physical camera to real world values or to any value you like you want to see here in half. The same goes for the film speed. We can adjust that again. It's so fast and uh, responds in real time here. You can just uh, slide the spinner and adjust it. The same for shutter speed. Let me just reduce the shutter speed a little bit or increase the shutter speed so it gets a little bit darker. You can see that back here. So <coughs> let me just bring that back. So you can see we have all the effects here in real time. And now let's see even the image controls. I just turned them on and you see we have now really nice contrast in, in the scene. And everything I adjust here also adjusts in, in real time in here. So let me just bring up the midtones to the extreme or bring it down. So you can see we have here full real time control, including everything ray, uh, ray tracing, reflections, refractions, global illumination going on. Uh, we can adjust the, the shadows, we can make them darker or brighter. And just by, by playing with the sliders, we will get. Uh, the feedback, instant feedback. And the same goes for the vignetting. So if we want to have the vignetting effect, so I'll, I'll just overdo the effect so that the outer side is very dark. And you can see that in real time, the feedback. Same for the white point. If you want to create a cooler looking image, so more in the bluish uh, range, we can just reduce it. Here you see it a little bit. Let me just overdo it a little bit more. So now we get a more bluish look, color temperature, or we go more into the warm area or neutral area as well. So all this is real-time feedback. And just to show you that we are still in active shade, I'm, I'm just uh, going to change the camera right now. And you will see we can move into the scene. You can just move here and you see it's doing full global illumination, a lot of bounces inside the room. We have blurry reflections, everywhere blurry reflections. Here we have a, a chrome a material uh, reflections here going on here. And we can adjust whatever we want here in, in real time. So we can still control the highlights, can control the midtones in real time. So we can really adjust the image to our final quality we, we want to see in, in that image. And the same is true for shadows and let me bring that down. So as you can see everything can be easily adjusted here in real time. Let me just move back a little bit so that's a nice view we have here. 
just down here. And again, you can adjust everything here in real time. So um, all the settings, colors, materials, we could swap out materials and everything. So if you want to learn more about Active Shade and the materials we do support, check out our other videos. That's it for now. Active Shade, Fire Render for GPU, that's where we are right now and it's really a great tool we think we are doing here.